Hello, hello everybody. Hope you all are doing well, keeping safe. Today I'm cooking couscous. This is the couscous with cannoli beans. Cannoli beans is that beans they used to do baked beans. So I bought a fresh one. I've been cooking it for like an hour. So I mix it together with the couscous. You can see it's very, they are all fluffy. They are not sticking together. So what I did, I cooked the beans first. I didn't allow it to cook, cook, cook over soft so you can see it. Then I put it aside. Then I boil hot water, put my couscous in a container, leave it for about three minutes, then I sieve it out. So that's why you can see, look, it's fluffy. Everything is fluffy, look. So I'm cooking it with chicken and prawns, carrot, sweet pepper. So I'm going to crack on and put the chicken. Put the chicken in there. The chicken is frying now. So when I finish, I'm going to garnish it with this uh, fresh coriander leaf. So that is the chicken cooking. The couscous is already cooked. I'm, this is the uh, chopped onions, garlic and onions. This is my sweet pepper carrot. So all I need to do is just make sure the chicken is well cooked and the vegetables then. I bang in my couscous and my cannoli beans and just mix all together. You know, job done, ready to eat. So the chicken is cooking. Hope everybody's keeping safe, washing hands and um, improve your personal hygiene, clean every handles, you know, just Stay safe, you know. It's a hard time for everybody all over the whole world, but it's worse in Africa where we have evil leaders, bad leaders, looters, thieves as as leaders, thieves in politics, thieves in power. You know, in this lockdown time, you see in the Western world where their government, you know, their prime minister, their president is helping their citizens, making sure everybody is well. Providing, assisting them financially, giving them grants, you know. Private uh, people, you know, they're going to assist them. But in Nigeria, they lock everything down. And look at what is happening now. People are breaking stuff, stealing everywhere, gangster. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how wicked African people are? That is why you go to China, you go to every other western part of the country, you see the way African people is being treated. So even in our own country, Africa, Africa president, they are treating Africa, Africa like slaves. Like, well, I don't know. I don't know. It's so disgusting. Disgusting. Honestly speaking. They have no conscience. This, uh, especially in Nigeria, the politicians. They just loot, loot money and sit on top of them. Anyway. <laughs> mm. Let me crack on in my cooking. Today I'm making couscous with uh, cannoli beans. Cannoli is made with uh, is that beans you make with big beans. So I fry my chicken and my onions, get it brown. Then I tip in my carrot and sweet pepper, and my prawn goes in there. That is the prawn goes in there as well. It's chicken and prawn. It's, it's a shame, really, that that is why, you know, Nandi Kanu is, is really going mad with African people. Say, African people, African people, what is in your brain? Your brain is not working. African leaders, your brain is not working. You people are really, really stupid. Stupid leaders. Stupid, stupid. Even all the, one, the ones who call themselves a professor, they all read books. They have no brain. I don't even know the kind of, the kind of education they, they went through. Whether the education went went through their brain or they went through the education, I cannot even tell because when you see the way our leaders back home in Africa are acting, the way they the way they, they handle their citizens, the way they, they, they say things in public on the national TV, you were like, What? You can't citizens in Western world they will they won't their leader will not speak like that to them in the public. Hmm. I'm not here to talk about what is happening. Let me just go on with my cooking, crack on with my cooking. So now I'm gonna tip in the, the sweet pepper, the carrots, 
you can use any vegetable of your of your um, of your choice but this is you know the way to cook um Costco so that you know you will enjoy it it won't be boring food for anybody you know you put in your spices any kind of spices of your choice you know look at it look at the color i like when i cook i like my food to be colorful so that's you know that's give you that appetite that that uh, attract you to come and eat me eat me eat me you know so when you cook guys just make your food attractive make it attractive so that you know you you'll be dying to eat it you know this is the sauce i'm gonna use you know you'll be like oh i want to eat this food but when you cook it in a in a way you know you won't have that appetite cook it in a way that it will be attractive you know you'll be having that appetite you know to eat to eat it to go for it so let me cover it a bit so just steam a quick 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 so when i finish i'm going to use this is the couscous couscous and kanalu beans i cooked the all together so when i finish i'm going to use this fresh coriander this fresh coriander and chop a little bit on top and just garnish it with it and serve with it so that's how it's gonna look today my coriander this is the season now to eat fresh herbs coriander rosemary or oh, name it all the vegetables are in the market are in this are in the shop right now fresh buy them get a container like this put them in and just or water them each morning a little bit till you you consume them look look so once this sauce is cooked i'll just bang in this couscous and the cannelo beans in there because this is already cooked you can see that my couscous is it's not sticky it's very fluffy look it's fluffy so when you want to cook couscous put it in a bowl boil your hot water tip it in the inside cover it for five minutes four minutes i did my for only three minutes i just you know bring it out the cannelo beans the same thing as well it's you know i cook that separate anyway before i mix both together look it's fluffy that's how you enjoy couscous follow the instruction of the packet you know so look at it so thank you for all my subscribers thank you so much guys thank you for believing in my cooking believing in me you know believing me encouraging me making nice comment thank you tom thank you so much you are always the first to look at my video and make comments you know thank you for your comment thank you my lovely sister tina god bless you thank you so much keep safe with your kids and your family and uh, please guys keep going to subscribe down below the conco bell and subscribe and leave your comments please and um, more subscribers is needed as well you know so i don't want the the couscous to be overcooked so i want it when you eat it everything is crunchy so i'm making sure the chicken is well cooked before i tip it in that's the most important thing your chicken must be cooked chop it slightly you can use anything you can use any kind of vegetable of your choice guys you know i'll cover it a bit i'm waiting for the chicken to be cooked properly so guys look at it it's simmering in there Look. So I'm gonna tip in the couscous in there. In there, look. I'm using olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I got assorted oil in my kitchen here. Yeah. I got ham seed oil. Yeah. I got granite, granite oil. Yeah. I got rice oil. Yeah. All kinds of oil. Yeah. I got them here. You know try to eat healthy what i did today guys when i went to shopping i didn't video when i went to shopping i was too carried away for the instruction at the supermarket i bought fresh ginger garlic and lime and honey 
fresh ginger, garlic, lime, and honey. So I came back home, I peeled them, chopped them up, squeezed out the lemon water, put it in the blender, blend it all together, put a lot of honey, because that honey and the lemon juice is going to uh, die down the... The, the strong uh, aroma or the strong uh, taste of um, ginger, of garlic, sorry. So I blend them, put the honey. Every day I take two teaspoons. You know, or we boost, you know, we help us not to catch this flu or whatever. It's, uh, you know, part of uh, boosting your immune system. And there's this thing as well, this um, black seed oil. If you can buy it online or on Amazon, if you see the oil or the seed, they are healthy. They boost your immune system as well. Black seed. I order mine from uh, Amazon. I bought the the the, the capture one in Holland and Barracks. Then uh, you see, so you can use them to cook, put them in your salad. They are very healthy. You can rub them on your skin. They, they do a lot, a lot in your skin. So check it out. On the internet, black seed oil, very, very good, you know, to use at your look. It's all ready now, guys. All ready, all ready to eat. Look, look at it, my couscous and kernel beans. So by the time I serve, I'm going to put this leaf, fresh coriander leaf. I'm going to chop it inside when I serve it. So guys, keep subscribing, leave your comment please and tell me what you think about my cooking, about my channel and thank you and remain blessed, keep safe guys, cheers and bye.